Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016 and 2017 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're working on number nine on the new general curriculum math subtest. It's a nice problem out there for elementary and middle school teachers preparing for their teacher certification exams. I'm going to jump right into this number sense word problem. It involves fractions and, and proportions and cross multiplication. It's got a lot of elements. We'll start by reading over the problem and working through how to get to the answer, okay? Here we go. Use the problem below to answer the question that follows. After driving 180 miles, a family has completed five-eighths of their trip. How many more miles must they drive to complete their entire trip? Let's think about that for a moment. At 180 miles represents what's completed, and that can be represented as five-eighths. We don't know how much is left over. That's what we're trying to figure out. But for now, let's say x. x represents what's left. x represents what's left over. Now, how could I represent that as a fraction? I know that what's completed is 5 eighths. What's left over? Well, if 5 eighths are completed, I think it makes sense that 3 eighths are left. Let's pause here for a moment, continue with the question. It says, which of the following expressions models the solution to the problem above? So these, this expression is just another way of saying, which one of these gets us to the answer? How many, uh, how many more miles are left? To do this problem, what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna, since I see fractions, I'm going to try and think, use some part to whole stuff that we've used in the past. Let's say right now the whole is, let's say, uh, total trip. Now we're told that this whole can be divided into eight sections, is that right? So, so let's do that right now. Let's divide this into eight pizza slices here. It tells us that five eighths are completed, so I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to write down um, five eighths completed. And we know that in terms of what's left, we have one, two, three. We could say three eighths left. Now, I'm going to use this model to represent what's completed and what's left a, a little bit differently. We could say in terms of slices, how many, how many slices of this uh, pizza pie that represents the whole trip, how many slices did they, compl uh, did they complete? And you'd say, oh, out of the eight, they completed, they completed five. So we could write that as five complete. And how much was left? Oh, out of the eight, three was left. Now let's make that equivalent to uh, something else, a fraction with, in terms of miles. The five represents how many miles that were complete. Oh yeah, five at five eighths matches up with 180 miles, right? Yeah, yeah. And the three, oh, the three we don't know. The three is our x that we were trying to find out, which the x is the answer. How many miles are left? Guess what, team? Now we have two fractions that are equivalent, and we can solve for x by doing cross multiplication. Whenever you have two fractions that are proportional or equivalent, you, the product, the cross product, is equivalent. So we can solve for x. Let's do this. x times 5 is what? 5x. Three times 180 is three times 180. Now I'm just leaving the, I'm not multiplying this out because I don't see they multiplied anything out here. Just trying to solve for x, divide by five on both sides. And what do we get? We get x, the number of miles that are left, is equal to 3 over 5 times 180. We've just come up with the expression that represents the number of miles left. We've come up with the expression that represents the solution to this problem. The answer here is b. This is a tricky problem. I think it's, uh, it's kind of tricky to get to the five, 5 over 3. See if you can work, see how, see if you can agree with me on how we got there, because from there it's just solving this proportion problem. All right, take care, team. Bye bye.
Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016 Teacher Workshop Series. This year, Go Academy is holding a whole new round of workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, Florida, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, and a couple other states. Check out our workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.